Finally, the man, the myth, the legend, Saida Org is allowed to play in the raiding game. And so far, our team has been just bodying them, steamrolling them. Way too fucking easy. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if we're in the lead or not, because the man called Saida Org exists. As long as he's there, it might as well... It, like, the numbers disadvantage doesn't matter to him. This is the craziest thing. And... In the conference episode, there was a point where they said Cyborg also has a secret trump card. It's a guy that's also a pawn. I know, I'm not really sure. He has a mask, right? Don't forget about him, too. And Akino also got bodied by their queen. I don't know. Oh, Akino got done dirty, but it is what it is. Now, Kiba, Zenovia, and what's her name? Rose Swice is about to sacrifice themselves for Issa. I don't think they're going to win. Obviously, they're not going to win. Their goal is to wear Cyborg out, but goddamn. This is going to be a fucking one-man show, isn't it? Let's start today's episode. <laughs> Shit. Bro had restraints on the entire time. So even during the fight in episode 1 or 0, he was nerfed against the fight against Issei. Oh my god. Shit. Limited release? Fighting aura is different from like demonic magic because he doesn't have magic, but this fighting aura is just some kind of. I don't know, it's just aura. Here we go, dude. Bro is dodging everything! <laughs> Damn! What the fuck? Unroll my friend! She just comes into the sea. <laughs> that was like a 3v1 attack. He just touched everything. He punches her in the ass, threw her to the fucking sea, dude. Oh. Get out of here. All right, Rosewife is dead. Rosewife is dead. She's actually done. She's actually just There's no way Skiba done, because he fucking talked about a secret technique he was prepping up the last couple episodes. Bro literally said, do not feel ashamed. You're not the only person that's ever been one punched by me. It's not your fault. <laughs> oh! I think he just tanked another hit there from Durandal. <laughs> Look at that double kick! Bop, bop! Oh, Kiba's uh, summoning! Right, he did that last episode. Doesn't matter. Bro, come on, there's more, right? Wait! I thought she was dead! Wait, wait, wait. In the water, though, the, the blue light started appearing. That usually means that they're done, but okay, Rosa is back. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Was that a fake? Excalibur Mimic. Is this the first time I've seen this? Has this happened before? I'm forgetting. All right, cool. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Rose fights. Let's go. This is totally new news for me. So she's had an invisible Excalibur this entire time. All right. Sure. Yeah. So does that mean Zenovia's even though it all merged into one, Zenovia can like single handed like show like little sub pieces out and just lend it out? Isn't that just what happened here? It's it's usually part of all these the Randall, but now it's just kind of just here. I'll give you a little piece of this. Okay. But it doesn't matter to you know Sidorg. 
<laughs> Rose was deceived him, faking her own death with the holy Excalibur. <laughs> and bro's like, all right, sure. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Again. The sword broke on him. How? No, you can't do this. No, oh, the Durandal is perceived to be the strongest blade that's ever to exist. So strong that it's pretty much like a Charizard. You can't control it with the lack of gym badges you have. But the Durandal got fucking refined to be able to, you know, be 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 better. But you're telling me this guy who only does push-ups, who only does fucking sit-ups, just fucking tanked it? Come on. How do you train again? How do you train for this body? Huh? What kind of push what kind of workouts is my man doing to fucking tank a Durandal bear skin? <laughs> Damn, both together. Nah, I win. Get that shit out of here. Wait. <gasps> He'll grab it and just fucking put it back, right? No, a guy like him's not gonna lose his arm. Unless he actually loses his arm for the fight against Ise? Really? Really? Yeah, you got the Phoenix tears. Was that a machine gun kick to the stomach? Ooh. All right, she's dead. Oh, that's so disrespectful. Bro dragged his fucking head on the ground. This is one handed, by the way. Still so humble and respectful, man. Can we beat him? Can we beat him? Oh, he's getting pissed off. Yo, Issei's kind of pissed off right now. I don't think this is going to be a fun fight. I think Issei is about to do some Giga Chat shit. Like, no more, no more funny memes. Juggernaut. <laughs> if you don't wanna die. I, the one who shall awaken, fucking start the chant. It's over. He's done. That was fucking fast. That was a rook and a knight. Like, knight rook, right? The boom boom. Our ability to switch back and forth much faster. She's done. 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 The only reason I'm realizing that Akino got done dirty last episode, you know how this queen defeated Akino last episode was to hype, not really hype it, but like make sure that, okay, this girl is strong, but then even if she's strong and she did that to Akino, Issei got serious and just one punched her. I think that was the whole point of that. <laughs> the queen, Kuisha, couldn't even use her whole match. <laughs> そうだ。俺が食い者を強制的にリタイア。いてるんだ。おお。すいません。気持ちが抑えられなくて。今のは後輩たちの分ってことで許してください。Let's go. That the Bal's pawn versus... Oh my god, Ashi's gonna get done dirty. But that pawn right there, that's like his secret weapon, apparently. We've already died before, buddy. Don't worry. Whoa. Intermission scene. Oh. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? I forget. Is this... Uh, It's not Rabel's mom. Who is this? 
Guys, who is this girl? Is she from uh, our previous host, the Red Emperor Dragon? Is she Cyborg's team? I forget. Titties, three, two, one. Boom. Yo, Fuck, yo, you guys are so slow with the comments. ナカマの敵を取らせてもらいます。大事な仲間を捕捕してきたあなたを無心で殴れるほど、俺は大人じゃないんですよ。ああ、それでいい。それでこそ決着にふさわしい。これ、still he was bleeding there. Okay, he took damage. Bro? <laughs> bro? e is flowing through you, bro? Okay. Alright, e is in him. Oh, he took his mask off. Oh. 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 Oh, it's a, it's a beast person. It's a lion? What the fuck? So this is his trump card, just a lion man? All right. Oh, Nimi is lion. What does that mean? Yeah. Isn't this the lion that Her Hercules fucking like, are, like choked out with his bare arms? Is, isn't that literally the myth of this lion? Is he like a really important lion? I don't know, the mythology from what I remember as a kid, I didn't hurt you like choke this guy out, just fucking wrestled him. It was sealed into the sacred gear. Oh, okay, okay. Crack. Okay, crack the earth with very one. Okay, Durandal was kind of explained like that too. It's like Durandal is this crazy sword that can cut through anything. Technically, it did cut through Cyrog's arm, but like, they're kind of hyping this shit up. Is it going to be super hyped though? Let's see. Now this, is this like future content? We're actually getting into like sentient longiness. You know, it's a battle axe that turned into a fucking line. It has intelligence. Sentient weapons. Does that matter for the future? <laughs> Zap. <laughs> He just hangs it, dude! What a manly fight! <laughs> Fuck defense! I'll just take the hits! Sadorg jacks off with his left hand more than right hand. Okay, important! Weak! That's right, right hand weak! Oh! It's okay, never mind. He, he, it's, he's a right hand user, but you know, the arm was cut off, right? <laughs> Uh. Oh! That looked pretty significant! The cannon beams! Oh shit! Now, can you survive this? Obviously, he can, right? You know, I- Oh, Jesus, Rias is about to fucking moan there. But so far, this battle's going a little bit too smooth. I expected us to struggle more against Sidor, but Sidor is the one getting kind of pushed back. Oh, oh my god, Rias, what's- Oh, no! Oh. So, there has to be, like, fan art or, like, doujins, you know, other alternative manga where, like, a lion is just fucking just going <clears throat> right onto Rias, right? There's, there's gotta be. There's gotta be art like that, right? Nah, sacrifice for yes, dude. Nah, nah, wait, wait, nah, don't waste the Phoenix Tears. Nah, nah, we should save it for us. What should we do? Should we use the Phoenix Tears here? Is Rias gonna help out? I'm not sure. Damn, Rias got fucking off screen. Oh my god. Should we though? Shouldn't we save this for Issei? Can Rias help Issei get to higher? Yeah, maybe she can. Because we still haven't done the nipple, you know? We haven't sucked on the titties yet. Because remember, the whole conference was 
What happens if you like suck on the titties? You know? If she is your switch and if you get stronger because of that, I think we have to save her right now. I think we have to. If the king loses, they lose. Oh, there's that too, the mechanics. I thought it didn't matter for the special fight. What? Saro's gonna ride him? Oh, because the battle axe, he can probably... Like, instead of Saro like, riding the lion, the lion turns into a weapon or some kind of armor, and Saro basically like, dons him like that. I just thought I'd, I would only use that if the underworld was in danger. So they're hyping up extra shit. Like Vali's extra powers like that. We haven't seen all of it. Okay. He's got an extra form. Yeah. But we have Juggernaut Drive that we haven't used yet. Oh. Okay. Wow. Both sides, pure Giga Chads, want to fight at full strength. So that means you'll let Issei suck on Rias' titties, right? Wait, 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 replay that? <laughs> I was like, I'm so sad for these hypothetical people that'll never be able to encounter this glorious battle that we're having right now. What a Giga Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Regulus! Is it an armor or does he turn into a battle axe? Full, full armor or what? Wow. Okay, this transformation scene is fucking sick, but what is bro's name? Regulus Ray Leather Rex. It's a fucking tongue twister. Why is it so hard to say? He actually looks like Hercules now. Doesn't Hercules have an armor like this? I think he's supposed to be Hercules. Like, the show is literally just alluding to the fact that this is Hercules. Sidor, he's just a fucking, like a, like a demigod. Like, he, he's just him, you know? He does use bear strength. I think that's what we're alluding to. This is Hercules' line that he fucking wrestled, right? Hercules has a cape of lion skin? Does, isn't this just, like, straight up just saying, you know, this is pretty much his, like, new modern-age Hercules? No, you gotta let I Issei fucking suck in the titties. That's, you gotta go balance break. Too strong. Oh no. Even that punch had a fucking tiger sound, dude. It's like, Rrr. Oh. Alternate dimension? Belzard? Anyone else? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> this is. You see these people, the past host of the Red Emperor Dragon? This is us in chat, guys. Everybody's just like, please, Juggernaut Drive. Bro, spam Juggernaut Drive. Everyone's like, please, just fucking use Juggernaut Drive. What are you doing? Come on. He wishes. Uh, I guess Side Org. Side Org. Wait, 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 but this isn't Issei's usual emotions, right? This is like the anger, the emotion, the rage overcoming him, right? This is all the past people's like emotions flowing through. He doesn't actually feel like this, but if you kind of... This is getting dangerous, but I want to see this happen. Oh! His eyes went black there! Yo, what are the kids gonna think if we go fucking Juggernaut Drive and fucking we just go all demented? We're gonna lose. So here's what I think is gonna happen. The old pie dragon is supposed to Im embody the, the hero image for the kids. Juggernaut Drive, it looks kind of demented. It looks a little scary. It's gonna scare the kids up. So for the sake of the kids, maybe Issei will learn how to refine Juggernaut Drive. He won't get all crazy. He'll learn how to hold back the emotions. And it'll be like a balanced way of doing Juggernaut Drive, but not scaring the kids. And not having these negative emotions towards Side Orc. Because, you know, these are the negative emotions from the past hosts. Or maybe the kids love Juggernaut Drive. Who knows? Fuck it. <laughs> Is that the kid that we signed?
Hey, remember that one episode? He was a little late? I is this the same kid? If it is, that's a really cool callback. It's the hat that we signed. <laughs> it's him. <gasps> yeah, I think it is him. <laughs> Damn, eating that with the speech? <laughs> yeah. We love Boop Dragon. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Sure, yeah, that does happen. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Let's go. I don't know. Again, the kids chanting boobs, boobs. I, it's, this, this is the underworld, not regular Earth, so it's fine. Ryas's hair? First episode, outside the window. Outside the window, first episode, when he first saw Rias. What if he deny? He says no. No, I'll figure my own way out. I think that's the whole point of the kids training boobs, boobs. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yes, he is. Harm King. No, that's your fate, not mine. Vali? No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. not Vali. Another vanishing dragon host has appeared in our fucking. Okay, he can just do that? Is every vanishing dragon host have fucking silver hair? Bro, Vali, this guy, okay? Albion's gem and your boosted gear once performing the power up, so you can just show up because of that. Okay. Because we kind of took. Yeah, we in season two, right? This, we do technically have divide, right? This term, Heavenly Dragon, is different from the Legendary Dragon Emperor, or is it synonymous? But we're obviously talking about the Vanishing Dragon and the Welsh Dragon, how in the past, every time they would clash and everybody, the host, they would have a bad time. But these new, this new era for Vali and Issei, they're supposed to change the trajectory of all this, right? That's the whole, you know, dialogue that's been happening, I think. The chant! It's different, it's, it's different! His speech is so different! The king! Wow. Everything about the chant there was just exact opposite, right? Because like these dudes, the regular Juggernaut Drive chant is so emo, but Issei every time just responds with a different reformed one. It's a very hopeful chant all of a sudden. What a role model. He said Rias there. Power up incoming. What kind of different form? Let's see it. Oh, wait. The wings. He has Val. This is what Valley's wings look like. So is this like Red Emperor Dragon stuff combined with Valley's like um, Vanishing Dragon stuff? Because, you know, we accepted the divide before in season two at the end. And we just saw the past, you know, Vanquishing Dragon host talk to us in that domain. So now this is like the combination. It's not regular Dragon Drive. It's like a new version that incorporates the Vanquishing Dragon's wings. This looks fucking sick. And that's the fucking episode. You know, I thought that we might get a little bit more of the side orc just destroying everybody but still what a really good episode the initial fight scene with side orc really good at least you know at least Zenovia and kiba had a cool scene where they charged together and cut off you know side orc's arm right here but even then every time side orc says something after he defeats somebody he's always like <laughs> he just one punches somebody and he's like <laughs> don't worry don't be insecure plenty have taken a one shot and never survived don't worry <laughs> this is perfectly normal he just like ensures them that he's so strong so you shouldn't feel like embarrassed what a fucking giga chad so the secret weapon right sadok's secret weapon was 
this lion, right, of Hercules. And it's really cool that this there's this Regulus raid leather, you know, the new form that Cyborg has. He enters this new armor mode, which is really sick. Even though he doesn't have, like, magic powers, it's cool that he can some magical stuff by incorporating with the with the with the with the lion right and then finally Riaz got fucking destroyed for no reason the lion just destroyed Riaz. oh my god this is actually terrible and finally Issei just has his own revelation with talking with the vanquishing drivers uh vanquishing dragon's host doesn't have to be so negative and emo you know all these past people of the red emperor dragon host they're, they're just so just in shell shock like trauma right but he's just gonna show them a bright future for the kids and here we have it, the newest form of, I think this is Juggernaut Drive, right? This is like a, a reformed Juggernaut Drive. Hopefully that doesn't like take away his lifespan, something that's more positive, something more even stronger, combined with the Vanquisher Dragon's wings. I still think these wings are fucking better. Like these wings, like, Issei never had these wings before, right? Because Valley, whenever he did the transformation, I was like, damn, this is fucking sick. But hey, this is a pretty cool scene. I think we have one more episode to finish the finale. And that's it. But hey, if you guys are still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.